Now let's visit with Shelly Dion at Graceful Stitches. Hi everyone, I'm Shelly and I'm sure you all know me from Guild. Um, this is my quilting room, Graceful Stitches Long Arm Quilting. Uh, this is Grace, my uh, quilting machine. It's an APQS Millennium. It is uh, put out by an American company. They make them right in the States. Uh, the company's been in business about 30 years. I uh, first started quilting when I was 16. A girlfriend of mine needed a baby quilt and I made my first baby quilt then. Um, basically I learned from my grandmother growing up underneath the uh, quilting frame like a lot of us did. Um, I continued to quilt um, right through my 20s and 30s. Got really heavy into it in my 30s and, and started joining quilt guilds. Um, about uh, Five years ago, I uh, added up all of my quilt tops that I had unfinished and came to discover that I had over 30 unquilted quilt tops. It was at that time that I decided that I should probably get into machine quilting because I was never realistically going to be able to hand quilt them all. I bought a mid-arm nolting, which would be a smaller machine than this. Um, Second hand, I started out on that and I, I was self-taught myself. Um, it was definitely a learning experience. And I quilted for people uh, right up until March of uh, this year on the Nolting. At that time, I purchased the Millennium from Joanne at the Christmas Crab Quiltery. Um, having a larger machine enables me to quilt, um, larger quilts, and it also gives me a larger quilting space um, in this direction here. Um, our machine has touch regulation and it has the laser. When your quilt comes into um, Graceful Stitches, I immediately hang it on a hanger, store it away in the closet out of the sun, and um, it keeps it dust free and it keeps it wrinkle free. I have uh, over 40 pantos that I can quilt on your quilt. Um, this is a couple of my favorite here. I um, tend to prefer to like large designs that have a lot of whimsy to them. I like patterns that have a lot of intricacy to them. Um, I think it adds a lot of visual interest to fabrics. If there is a quilt that the fabric was um, really the highlight of the quilt, that's when I would probably choose to do something uh, simple like stippling with the quilt. Um, uh, recently, this is on my design wall, I keep a design wall and I also keep a cupboard of a um, collection of antique and old sewing items. Um, you can have a little peek here, just some old uh, buttons and spools and these are um, antique sewing baskets, uh, antique spools. One of the things that uh, I do at Graceful Stitches that is different from a lot of the uh, quilters is I base down the edges of your quilt. I find that this helps not only to keep it square but it also allows me to make any adjustments for fullness. And when it's time for you to put the binding on, you have a stitched edge, which makes it easy for you to trim for your binding. For uh, sewing machines, I uh, love to collect antique ones. This is a little Singer. I also have a antique Raymond machine. Um, newer versions, I should say, that they're 20 years old. I have two 25-year-old uh, singers, and then I have uh, my Husqvarna, which is the machine that I do all of my everyday sewing on currently. This is my Husqvarna Viking. It is the Platinum 75 Five Quilters Edition. Uh, one of the reasons that I chose this machine was for its large throat space. Um, it has a needle up and down that I can control with my foot pressure. I don't have to uh, turn the wheel. 
Uh, it also has needle up and down and a automatic needle threader which was very high on my list of things. Uh, the lid comes up and I have uh, quite a few stitch options. I can program it to do different things. I have found the uh, Husqvarna to be uh, probably the best quality machine that I've owned in all of my 40 years of quilting and sewing. Um, I can highly recommend it and I like to have it sitting in my table so that I can sew directly onto the machine with no bumps or jumps. If I drop it off after work, can I wait for you to quilt it? Or should I come back this evening after bowling? I finished it today in a class of 27. They'll be here next week with Sam and Owen. The technique was kind of strange, but I did the best I could.